how did I make this Keith Haring inspired design? Super easy. You're going to need some construction paper. You're going to need this handout I will have in the description below. You're definitely going to need a pencil and a big thick sharpie and some scissors. So let's get started. All right, guys, first step is to trace your template with a pencil and press your fingertips down on the edge of that template so it doesn't slide around. When you're finished, get a large Crayola marker or a Sharpie, whatever you want. If you're in my class, you're definitely gonna use a large Crayola marker and you will just use the side of that Crayola marker to create a big, bold black line retracing that pencil marking. So it's very important you use a large, bold line. Use the side of that, not the tip, all right? Next, what you do is get some scissors and cut literally right next to that big black line. Don't cut inside the black line or outside the black line, literally right on the black line. After that, get some tape, roll it in a little ball, and place it on your piece of paper. Now, if you're in my classroom, you will have these wonderful handouts to look at, to get some ideas from, to create movement lines, but if you're at home, check out the description below. Now, use those handouts to create movement lines using a lot of, I don't know, wavy lines, diagonal lines, Lines, broken lines there's so many different lines you can create with but make sure your lines go in a direction and they're flowing together it's also very important that you don't shy away from actually drawing different figures and symbols that you see in your handout like I drew a guy with his hands up like woo you know I mean he's having a good time he's part of the design have these creatures and different lines interact and be a storyteller with your design don't be scared to just have fun with it and give this guy somewhere to live I mean this guy's standing on what I was trying to translate into sand but I turned the sand into broken lines that show movement now the final phase of designing the background is to fill it up with filler lines that means just put lines around lines outline lines with more lines you're gonna be making some curve lines some wavy lines make sure they're flowing in a direction create emphasis with your lines add lines on top of lines but don't let those lines touch that is key now, as you can see I am finished early so I decided to put more lines inside of the person the lines flow with the action and the movement of the person and I've decided to add more shapes circles are really popular with Keith Haring circles with X's circles connected to little long wavy curve lines that look like creatures so I really want you to have fun with adding more movement lines to reinforce the action that your person is doing now it's really important that your lines don't touch like I said earlier so you keep it nice and neat bold and clean and that's how we're gonna make this keep hearing piece work really well with our design. now finally it's time to glue this guy back in his location the tape is not gonna work you're gonna get some packing peanuts hot glue them on the back of your guy if you don't have packing peanuts, then you can just use regular glue, but at the end of the day, you will glue him right back where he was originally, and you will be done. Now, if you don't know where to get packing peanuts, you can get them from Staples or any kind of office supply store. Either way, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and have a great day. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!